good morning from day two of the ninth degree car club catch the camel rally and we have taken over a petrol station it is absolute carnage with all of the employees rushing people around telling people where to go and oh. how you feeling man you good yeah, good man. yeah. no filming ah! Anyway, now that we are out of the petrol station and I'm probably a little bit more allowed to film around here, the 650S has the roof down, finally! I did the entire drive yesterday with the roof up, which was a huge fail, even though I caught the sun. So today, I'm sun creamed up, the roof is down, and I'm waiting for all of the cars to procession onto the motorway. We head back to Dubai, onto the Palm, because we've got a boat experience around the Palm, which should be quite interesting, but then we drive into the mountains and we're staying the night in a little chunk of heaven in the middle of the desert so day two is just about to kick off I'm really excited to start pushing that car because yesterday with the roof up it didn't feel like anything that special so the next couple of days are gonna be where it's at <laughs> Well, I'll be damned. This is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. This is the third time that I've been to the Palm, but every time I come here, I just go to the water park, which is that way. And this is very important today. More sun cream. We're going on the boat, and this is the lineup of supercars. <laughs> I'm gonna go and have a look at that orange chrome camo AMG GTS Edition 1. World's longest name for a car. This is like an absolute mansion of a place. Never seen anything like it. Yeah, I don't mind Dubai homes. These work. <laughs> Let's have a look at this orange chrome camo AMG GTS whilst Ash gets out of the way of my shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got a carbon front lip as well. It's got two front lips. In case you don't want just one carbon lip, have an extra one. It's got a full-on kit. You like it? I like it. Yeah, it's aggressive. I want to know where the kit's from. Oh, it's the Revo Sport kit. This is our first stop. It is called the One and Only Hotel. 
and I can see why because it is the one and only most ridiculous Arabic feel, Middle Eastern vibe. We've got this square courtyard here, which obviously we've completely filled up with supercars, which just makes this place look even more special. And I think that's the buggy that we need to go on now to get down to the harbour so that we can get on a boat. Well, I think it's safe to say that day two of Catch the Camel is more ridiculous than the first. Hearing a Novitech Aventador go around Yas Marina, five minutes apart from a Formula One car is special, but we've got a two hour drive later. So I think the organizers have felt that we need to relax, chill out, and go on such a beautiful yacht. Although I've heard that this is an incredibly fast boat and we're headed to seas where we can open the taps a little bit. So whilst it's relaxing at the moment, I think it's about to get a little bit faster. Hello. <laughs> I have just spoken to the company that manufactured this boat because we're heading out to open waters to see what this boat is capable of doing. We're on a supercar run and Catch the Camel wouldn't provide a boat that didn't have incredible performance. This boat has got two engines. Each engine has over 1600 brake horsepower. So this boat has over 3000 brake horsepower from its two engines. It's got three bedrooms. It's incredibly luxurious inside. I kind of have it next to a Bugatti Chiron for the water. It was built to be a missile for the water. And as you can see, it's a stunning boat. It's got incredible performance. It does over 85 kilometers per hour, which is 46 knots, which none of these other boats are able to do that. And it costs 3.5 million euros to buy the boat and have it shipped here into the UAE. That includes all of the delivery. This boat is made in Italy. Where else would it be made? We're now gonna to head to open waters and see what this boat is capable of. We're being told we're about to speed up a little bit. Here we go. completely ridiculous we've come back to a super cruising speed now oh my god i was not expecting that talk about being in a convertible car and having your hair completely ruined i've just had my hair almost blown off on this thing that is something i've never ever experienced before and halfway through i just screamed i want to be rich because this thing is 3.5 million <laughs> The experience that that is, is totally worth it. And then you've got the insane luxury of having three bedrooms, one which I thought was the master bedroom, which was so nice, it wasn't actually the master bedroom. The master bedroom was even bigger and nicer than that, had better windows. Oh my God, the way that that thing banked left and right, Jesus. Wow, I wanted to turn up to the harbor in my Bugatti Chiron and then get on this boat. Oh man, that's taking it out of me. Going on that boat, I'm completely wowed. And now we come back to the courtyard, all of the supercars are getting ready. And we're heading to Hatta. Now we went to Hatta with Pure Drive Automotive when we took the R8 Spider 
and the G63. So I kind of know the roads. I'm looking forward to going back there and just checking in for the night, but what better way to do that than with a bunch of awesome supercars? And just like that, we've made it to the little paradise that is Jahata Fort Hotel in the middle of the desert. Oh, I remember this speed bump, it's huge. Now I am very aware that we're at the end of day two of Catch the Camel and I haven't done a very good job of showing you guys some of the cars and some of the participants that are on this drive. So I'm gonna head up to the car park as a green hurricane turns up at least an hour late. And I'm gonna show you some of the cars that we're cruising around with because tomorrow we're gonna to need to know that because there's basically a competition of who can drive the fastest up and down mountains. So day three is all about the driving and I need to see what I'm up against. What a ridiculous car park we have got. But let me show you around some of the cars. We have got a white Porsche GT3 that has been sat in PPF'd, 570S, Aventador Roadster, we all know about that car. GT3, Lotus Exige, Nissan GTR. This car is running semi-slick tires and around 900 brake horsepower. This is the satin white GTR 2017, which is really nice, completely stock, I believe. Um, and then we've got this, a Revo Sport, satin, chrome, orange, camouflaged AMG GTS. Quite ridiculous. What's more ridiculous is this is a rental car. There is a market in Dubai for people to come and rent this car, which blows my mind. And if there is anyone watching this video that owns a rental company in the UK, would you ever spec a car like this to rent? Probably not, but it looks awesome. 488 Spider with possibly every single option. Carbon fiber absolutely everywhere. Actually, no, it hasn't got the carbon wing mirrors, so I can't say that, but it's got these awesome little side skirts down there and it sounds pretty good. I think it's got an exhaust system. 650S Coupe which won't make too much of a difference against my Spider. Gen 1 Audi R8 V10, Maserati Gran Turismo 720S Hurricane. This Corvette is a beast. This is roaring thunder, but gloss roaring thunder. So my BMW M3 had satin roaring thunder and I actually wanted the gloss. So very jealous of this chap. And then we have a satin black Z06, the 2016 one, which I love. And it's got a crazy carbon fiber rear diffuser that I don't think is stock. Let me show you. And then we have the Dubai favorite, the SLS. There are so many out here. They're so rare in the UK, yet I've seen about four on this trip, but we've got one on the drive. We've got a Porsche 911 Carrera. I don't know anything more about this car than the fact that it's a Porsche uh, because it's next to a Dodge Viper ACR. Now this thing is an absolute track weapon in the satin gold with the Viper decals down the side with the satin black rear is really cool. We have got a Porsche Turbo, AMG GTC, Hurricane, California, another Porsche Turbo. Check this one out because it has got some beautiful wheels like that. And it also runs an IPE exhaust system, which is completely titanium, even down here. Oh man, that's cool. AMG GTS, even though it has got the Pan American front grill, it is just an AMG GTS, but looks amazing with that new grill. So there we have it. At the foot of these incredible mountains, there are wonderful supercars, and tomorrow's activity is to race up and down them. So ladies and gentlemen, day two is complete. That is the complete look at the Catch the Camel car park. Mr. Oliver Webb and Supercar One Leg have sadly left us. They had to go back to the UK for the weekend, meaning that we are by ourselves as Brits. No, there's loads of Brits here. However, 
The cars just look unbelievable. Underneath the sunset, which is happening over there, which that makes sunrise from over there, which is where our room faces. Maybe I'll start the vlog tomorrow with a bit of a sunrise. Peacocks. Hopefully you have enjoyed this utterly ridiculous insight into the Dubai lifestyle of the ultimate rich with that beautiful boat. I had so much fun and we now cruise to the mountains for tomorrow. Tunnels, mountains, crazy amounts of sound and a whole load of fun. So from me, a ninth degree car club, thank you very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you for day three tomorrow. Whoop.